Hey guys, this is AA Flyer Triple Seven here, and today I'll be making you guys a 1400 scale review of my brand new Gemini Jets United Airlines Airbus A319. And what a relief it finally is to have this model. Um, I've been, you know, going on months of, uh, you know, United Airlines aircraft still in the Continental livery and uh, my two United Express jets, but um, now I can proudly say I have a mainline United Airlines aircraft. Um, you know, it's a beautiful model. I'm so happy to have it, and um, you know, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna start the review because uh, I really do like this model. So, uh, anyways, um, I chose the A319 as my first United Airlines aircraft uh, for a couple reasons. Um, one, I'm gonna be flying it this summer. Um, I'm flying it to uh, Washington Dulles from Boston. Um, it's my first leg of my journey to Vegas. Um, I'm connecting through Dulles because uh, United doesn't have direct service to Vegas. And, um, you know, it'll be my first time flying United, uh, first time on the uh, A319 too, so, you know, I figured, you know, why not get the first United plane and make it an A319. So, uh, anyways, so up at the top of the end of the corner of the box, you got Gemini Jets, you got the United A319 right here on the front, you got United logo on the uh, bottom here, this is Airbus A319. So over the side here. Pretty much the same thing as the front, got the plane um, on the side here, Airbus A319 and Gemini Jets. On the back here, you've got the uh, model climbing. Uh, you got Gemini Jets, uh, a lot of information I don't really care about. Um, I'm sure you guys don't care either. Uh, made in China, like everything in America. And uh, so it's a 2012 release, I'm pretty sure it was December 2012. Um, on the other side is the same thing. On the inside flap here, you've got uh, basic information about the Airbus A319. I uh, got some little facts about it. I uh, got some pictures of the model. And uh, that's where the model was. So uh, nothing special about the box, but the model is very special to me. Um, so anyways, I mean, what a beautiful model this is. So uh, anyways, I'll start the review right here on the front here. Um, forgive me guys, I'm, I'm having some difficulty focusing with my camera today for some reason. I don't know if it's the lighting or what. Oh, no, eh. is it going to focus? No, sorry guys, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Um, anyways, oh, there we go, okay. So you can see right there, we've got good detail on the uh, cockpit windows here. Um, to the right of the cockpit windows, you got the Star Alliance logo. Uh, ample detail on the L1 door. Um, you can't really see much of it for some reason, I don't know why. And then we've got the beautiful United Airlines titles um, in the uh, blue United colors. Um, you got the sole uh, overwing exit, and then you can see on the wings, we got the uh, overwing exit markings. Registration for this plane is N835UA, and then we've got the uh, American flag at the end. And then we've got the beautiful Globe logo, um, the former Continental logo, now the United logo. Um, I'll focus here on the winglets. You can see uh, you get that kind of a blue-white mixture on the winglets. I, I like the winglets on these planes. They're pretty cool. Um, good detail on the engines um, in that uh, United 10. Um, okay, landing gear. Um, Jim and I upgraded the, uh, the A319, the nose. It definitely looks better. Um, but they haven't made rolling gears available on this model yet. Um, hopefully they will. I mean, I don't really care about rolling gears. Um, personally, I think they take away realism from the model. But, um, you know, some people like rolling gears, so they'll probably do that in the future. Anyway, it's got the Star Alliance logo again. Um, nothing really special on this side except for the uh, cockpit. I mean, not the uh, cockpit. Um, the uh, baggage. Um, oh, man. I'm, cargo doors. Uh, sorry. I don't know. I can't. Can't think of the word. Um, so anyway, so you got the cargo door um, on the front, the forward cargo door. And then on the back here, you can kind of see it. It's kind of difficult to see, but uh, you can see the rear cargo door uh, to the right of the uh, registration. And uh, the other side is pretty much the same thing. I mean, there's nothing really special about it. So uh, anyways, here I'll give you a nice front shot. I mean, overall, this is a really awesome model. Um, if you guys want to get it, um, it's still available at Gemini and I would assume most retailers. Um, I got mine off of eBay, um, like most of my other models. Here, and I'll uh, give you guys a nice rear shot. This is such a pretty plane, guys. Um, you know, if you're looking for United, I mean, United A319, uh, it's a really awesome model. Um, like I said, not going to be my last A319. Um, I'm going to get one. Uh, this one will probably go to Dulles in my airport update since that's where I'm going to be flying. But I'm uh, going to get another A319 for the Chicago route. Um, and uh, I'll kind of give you guys my uh, United fleet plans. Uh, I'm going to get two 757s, um, one for uh, Los Angeles, one for uh, San Francisco. And uh, I'm going to get one A320 for Denver. And, uh, you know, they're interchangeable. I mean, sometimes United sends the A319s to Denver. 
Sometimes we get 757s to Dulles and Chicago. So, you know, I'll kind of switch them up. And I'm uh, going to get two 737 800s um, and, you know, just kind of intermingle all of them. But uh, anyways, um, so that leads me to our next point. I'm going to be making an airport update that will feature this plane and uh, my uh, Atlanta Falcons uh, AirTran 717. So um, that's probably going to conclude this review. I hope you all enjoyed it um, since this is my first United plane. Um, thank you for watching, guys, and um, look for that airport update. Um, that should be up later today. So uh, thanks for watching, and please rate, comment, and subscribe.